So what we're looking at right now is a side-by-side -side composite screenshot. On the left-hand side is a whiteboard diagram showing our original idea for the floor plan and something 3D for our 3D composing exhibit. And on the right-hand side is what we had built as of a couple weeks ago. We had a floor and we had green pillars. Now, as of today, we have this exhibit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Evolving Spaces, Chapter, Overlap, Exploring, Timeline, Acclimate. In this episode, we re-entered by reflecting that with this episode, we committed to streaming here forward in YouTube versus Twitch because reasons. The main reason being that we're building actively in the 3D app called Second Life, and Twitch does not allow you to Twitch to stream Second Life, and YouTube does. We also started a new series called Composing in evolving spaces and we set up to do that. We set up our project folders in your CES. It's relatively simple. All it has is some Muse score stuff in it at the moment. We feel like we're starting over for more than one reason. Number one, this new series starts after the previous series, which went on for, we couldn't believe it, six whole months. And starting over is not exactly comfortable. Another sense in which we feel like we're starting over is that three years ago, we started streaming in the first place, sharing the composing process on Twitch. And at that time, we felt uncomfortable and excited at the same time as we do now. So we're figuratively with a new start, a new platform, a new series, and new projects. Working in Second Life Build feels similar, we've noticed, to working in Google Slides and in Magic Music Visualizer, which are two tools we've become very familiar with over the last many episodes and series. There are tricks to learn in making things with symmetry, such as threefold, timing and moving animation actors, especially in synchronization with a soundtrack, uh, working within and sometimes around tool limitations to realize our ideas. Uh, both of those are all visual. They're visual image and visual movement. And so uh, those are tools that complement our work with Muse Score, which is the aural music sound. In sound, we compose scores and playback to assess them. In 3D, we're realizing you've got to not only compose your ideas like we showed a minute ago, you've got to upload them into the 3D world and walk around in it. So, speaking of walking around in it, let's walk through what we've got set up to date. This is at the moment in midnight view, and our avatar is sitting up here, which we call our build square. So we're going to stand up and come down. This exhibit is designed so that the entrance point is back here. So the first thing we notice as we look is that it looks more open. And that's something that we realized by building this in 3D, that this concept, the height of the, the smallest pillar is the same as the height of the avatar. And so it just looked blocky and uninviting. So standing here, the first thing that catches our attention is this wavy movie thing back here. And then there's kind of something moving over here. So we would be encouraged to walk right in. So that's what we're going to do. And many of these things are concept exhibits. And the, the goal here is, 
It's a composer's toolkit. Now this concept image is about there being multiple dimensions and multiple variables in composing music. Well, over here we have some examples from our actual work of what we call energy charts. So down here is an energy chart tracking mode change, orchestration, chord function, dynamic. And this piece of music we actually animated in a composite animation showing the keyboard, the score, and two uh, ways of visualizing it. So this is a four-piece composite. This one is a little cartoon animation. There is a person and a pet and a squirrel or something being chased. And we called it leashes. And um, the idea again here is that when we composed it, uh, based on the t how fast it was going, the cadence, the syncopation, bump, ba 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 bump, that syncopation, uh, and other things we were working out, make the energy go up and down. Uh, overall, it's a pretty flat energy piece. This piece, um, we actually showed four parts, because there were four parts to the music, and we track, this has clear phases, one, two, three, four, five, but we also did a gallery animation uh, where we took a digital artist's image by permission and um, animated it. Speaking of which, we also made a nice blog post about that as part of this episode. So we've done three digital art gallery animations so far. The most recent was in this series. And each of them features three different artists here. Three different artists. And this is uh, synchronizing a visual with um, oral. Okay, but so far so good, but you can't hear any of that. That's all visual. What about sound? So over here we have an exhibit called Broad versus Fine Structure. And if you just click You'll hear a steady note, which we're calling the broad, and if you click up here, you'll hear a fine structure on top of it. So this is both sound and sight. And if we were giving a tour, we'd talk about hearing what the red and the blue sound like versus the green, which is the factor called timbre. So now at this point, there's nothing yet built over here. So this is open creative space. And then what's this over here? This exhibit in progress is called Build a Scale. And the concept here is that every scale has a root R and a neutral, which we call five, because reasons, modes, and urges. And the point of this circle circular animation is to show that you can have more than one scale with 12 notes. Here's C, D flat, D, E flat, E, etc. And you can rotate them and they could take turns being the root and the minor and the major mode, etc. This has nothing click playable just yet. Over here, this is not wiggly squiggly moving, but it is playable. And this is called uh, Table of Reflections. And this shows that if you look at interval pair, like here's a C playing against the C. And this is the modes. And the major modes. This is the neutral. This is the minor urge. and the major urge. And it all comes back like that. Now, there's so many ideas that we're working on, and fortunately we still have space, and fortunately we still have several weeks to keep working on this, which gives us wonderful material for this stream series. Um, so that wraps it up for this episode. What we like about the exhibit is we're letting it evolve. We're letting the exhibit overall evolve and we are um, letting the exhibits within evolve. And there's 
there's so much urging going on and we're so much in this state of creative tension between eh, 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 we've got a deadline and ooh, cool and i got this idea and that idea and then in the end after you brainstorm all your ideas you gotta you gotta pick a few shout outs to jay wish Dewani, who stopped by silent lurker and cross-dimensional thinker we appreciate you Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.